Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. So glad to see your smiling faces for this tip of the week. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite free tools that are out there in the market. This is a tool that if you're a solution architect or a functional consultant or a CRM administrator, you probably will be using this you know, once in a while, depending on, you know, how good you are at predicting, um, I guess, changes in fields and things like that. Because what this tool does is that it simplifies the process of correcting, let's say, something that is uncorrectable when it comes to the customizations of Dynamics 365 in the area of fields. And that is the attribute manager created by Daryl Labar. It's one of my favorite tools. It's great. So if you, let's say you created a field that is a decimal number, uh, because that was a requirement at the time. And then a year later, you realize that, okay, now decimals are needed. Well, you know that you can change the data type on a field from decimal to, you know, or from whole number to decimal or from one to another in any way. So the attribute manager helps you do all of that. It helps you not only create a new field, it transfers the data, it replaces the field completely, and it's all behind the scenes and automatically. I, I get to talk about this tool you know, every year at the UG Summit and at other events, and, and the people have never seen it. They're always like, you know, uh, shocked to know that a tool is out there that can do that, number one, and number two, that is absolutely free. But even the attribute manager cannot do some things. Uh, the tool is not 100% complete, let's just say, but there are ways to get around some of the limitations. One of the ways in which the tool is not complete is, for example, the way it handles lookup fields. So if you want to convert, let's say, a text field into a lookup field, when you select the lookup type to convert into, there is no way to select, let's say, the entity that that lookup field should be looking into. It, there's no way to establish that connection. So um, there are some improvements that are needed in the future. I'm sure Daryl will bring them over time. But, you know, one of the things that, that I found out about it is that you don't have to get the tool to create the field for you. Um, you can do it yourself and then just skip the step. And I'm going to show you how that works in a second. So let me go ahead and retrieve the entities. Um, and what I did is I created a lookup field on the account entity called representative. All right. This tool, this, this lookup actually looks into the contact record. So let me go and show you where that is. Uh, if I go here into the accounts, notice that I added that representative field. It's a lookup to the contact record. If I open any of these accounts, I'll just open it up. There it is. I added to the form as well. You can go ahead and select contacts in the system. All of these are sample contacts. But one of the things that I want to show you in this video is how the tool, how amazing this tool is, right? It can go and find the field wherever it is and replace it with a new one. So in this case, let's say I made a mistake. Instead of looking at contacts, representatives are supposed to be users instead. Or if you made it for users, now it's supposed to be contacts or whatever it is. So if that's the case, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a lookup field. Remember, you cannot create it with the tool yet. So I'm going to create a lookup field, and then I'm going to skip that step and still convert everything to it. Not only I added the field to the form, as you can see it here, but I also added the field to the view that you saw, the active accounts view, and I created a lookup for it. So let me show you what the lookup does. I'm going to pick Tom O'Neill here just for example. I'm going to save it. So there's a real-time workflow that appends the representative name to the account name. It's a super simple workflow, but I just wanted to show you that it's a workflow, a real-time workflow, and that is active. It's working right now. I just saved it, and you can see that it did that. And again, just to double-check, there it is, Tom O'Neill, so representative right on that account. So if we try another one, Adventure Works, so I'll just pick somebody else. Let's say Eva, why not? Hit save, and, well, there's duplicate records about that. No tricks, ignore and save. And you will see that Eva's name is now appended into the account name. So that is what the workflow does. So once again, a custom field is a lookup to contact and is not only on the form and the view, but also included in a real time active workflow. All right, so from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna navigate into the solutions. And 
what I need to do is if I want to convert this lookup from being a contact to being a user, you know, lookup field, first I need to create the field. And again, this is only necessary for lookup fields. If you're, if you're converting, let's say from text to multiple lines of text or from, you know, whole number to decimal number or whatever, uh, all of that stuff is unnecessary. You don't have to create this field. The tool will do it for you. It will create it. It will migrate the data. It will do everything. In this case, migrating the data won't be possible because we're going from a contact lookup to a user lookup. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and add right here. Um, once again, another field, and this one will be called representative, right? Same thing, but I'm going to add user in here because the schema name does have to be, um, you know, different than the first one. So I'm going to create a lookup right here. And obviously I'm going to pick user in this case, I'm going to save it in the system. So now I have that lookup created and let's just start the countdown and let's go. So let's just wait until this field clears, but one is created, it's behind the scenes. We don't have to really do anything. I'm gonna go back and reload the XRM toolbox uh, tool, the attribute manager, just so we can retrieve the entities. It should be published by now. I left it going behind the scenes. We'll see how it is, see if it's listed. Yep, so there it is. So the representative user is the one that we want. That's the new one, but this is the one that we need to migrate. So I'm gonna pick that guy and I'm gonna say, look, the new field that is going to is representative user. I think that's how it's capitalized. Let me double check. Uh, well, I, I don't think it really matters if it's capitalized or not. So the name will be representative. That's fine. That's the display name that I want. But here is the magic, right? So you have the steps right here. What I need to do is deselect the create new attribute, right? And also migrate the data because there's no data to migrate. We're going from a contact to a user. So this is what I meant. So you pick a lookup. I'm clearly selecting a lookup field. Uh, there's no way to pick the, the entity that is going to. So that is why I mentioned that. Uh, that is just not a possibility right now. So let's go ahead and execute these steps. And the steps that it's going to do is it's going to migrate everything to the new attribute, meaning that form location, view location, and workflow. And then it's going to remove the old attribute. So let's check it out. All right, and now that it's finished, I just wanted to mention that, by the way, this process will take more or less time depending on how many records you have, depending if you're migrating data. Obviously, if I was creating the new attribute via the tool and I'm migrating the data to the new attribute, let's say from a whole number into a decimal number and migrating thousands of records as part of that, this process can take a while. But, you know, if you do all of that all of that work manually, it would take you hours and hours and hours. So even if you have to sit there and, you know, look at the tool for five minutes or 10 minutes, do it is totally worth it. So it's just way faster to do it that way. All right. So let's go back into the account record and we're going to go back to the views first. And just so you know, there's no trickery. Let's go to contacts and then back to accounts and there's representative, right? So the column is there. And if you remember the old column had the a, a couple of contacts set this one is empty because well it switched it into a uh, lookup to user so let's go ahead and open one of these uh, a datum or whatever it is there's the field representative right on the form i didn't have to do anything and now it says look for representative let's see who we get users there it is gus gonzalez these are all users in the system so my lookup is now looking at users now let's double check that uh, uh real-time workflow so i'm going to add gus gonzalez here let's hit save Boom, there it is, perfect. That workflow also works, I didn't have to do anything. This tool is amazing, if you're not impressed with that, well, I don't know what to tell you. I hope you enjoy the tip this week, and we'll see you next week.